Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Mennings. And in today's episode, I'm going to be comparing 3.23 and 3.22 visuals side by side or between the two, flipping between the two. So we already like this video, guys. If you do, don't forget to set up point to tickle that like button, run the intro. bit of output to get through guys the code dropping down is a code we've picked at random from our comment section if you want your code to show in the next video just leave a comment if you've subscribed to the channel and we'll pick one at random again and if you're new to star citizen if you use that code you'll get 5,000 credits when the game is released once you create an account and use that code and you'll push that person up in the rankings where they can get some goodies as well and so yeah so also check out the description where we have a discord link so if you want to play with other people we've got a few uh, people on Discord that you can jump on there with, as well as the org, which is Noobs Gaming over on RSI. And um, you also have the membership. So the names running across the bottom at the moment are names of people that have joined the membership on YouTube. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, can't thank you enough. And uh, yeah, so let's get into this one, guys. So today, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be side by side in 3.22 and 3.33 visuals and sort of flipping between the two visuals and just sort of talking through some of the visual changes and I'm using the Vulcan engine uh, on the new version as well as upscaling on the new version and uh, just going to side by side them and just look at some of the new visual changes like the markers, the land markers and just stuff like that. So yeah, so we already like this one guys. Let's get into it. So what I'm going to show you first, guys, is this new beta launcher. Um, I really like this one. It has everything I need in place. And so here you've got your what games you've got on. It's in beta 2 at the moment. You've got your RSI status here. Then you've got your download folder and your settings. So this is going to show you how much you want, how fast you want it, whether it's unlimited or not. Then whether you want to hide this when you launch the game. Uh, and then you've got your downloads. Um, folders here so where the games exist and whether you want to verify them or not I really like this new launcher then you've got your games here so live and then each time you go to the the one of these you can click the little um, cog here at the side and that will take you to where we just been a second ago to show you the folders and you're verifying stuff like that and then across the top you've got um, your different things uh, for each one of the games so like each one of these sections here, it, it corresponds to the game type you're in, so whether you're in live EPT or PTU. And so what's going on in the roundups and the patch notes for the current game that you're playing. So patch notes for two, uh, 3.221 there. And then whether you want to report a bug. And then in the PTU, the same. You've got the, the everything to do with the PTU uh, on this one. And then again, all the stuff that has to do with it, as well as the patch notes for the, PTE, the PTU there. And the same again with the EPTU, where you can install the game as well there or launch the game. The PTU currently not in use. It's the EPT that we're on at the moment. And this is really good because the patch notes, the amount of times I've had to go and try and find patch notes for stuff, and now it's just there in that launcher. I can just go and click it, and it takes me straight to where I want to go. And same with the reporting a bug thing as well. It just makes things so much easier doing that. And so that's the new launcher. really, really like that. Um, so much better because everything's in one place and, and I don't have to go searching around for it. So that's the new launcher, guys. We hope you like it. You can get that from the RSI site. So let's get into this one, version 2 versus version 3. And I'm just going to go through the visuals and the different types of visuals. I'll just flick between the two like I am doing there. And um, you'll see at the top in the number that we're on currently and what they look like in the differences. So definitely this section here, this creating a character section, so much better now. So much more that you can do with it. It's a little bit jerky at times, uh, but I am on the EPTU. So there's the old, there's the new, massive difference. With the new now, you can save your characters and then load them on, like I've just done there. So once you've created a character, you can save it and then load it in. And then we've got the old start screen here with a 3.22 tells you up in the top left there and then 3.23 here on this one and we're in the EPTU with that one. So let's get in the game guys. I 
all the slot is the same between the two at the moment. So here we are, new Babbage, 3.22, let's start. So there's some, some visual changes going on there. It just looks a bit cleaner. We've now got this cargo thing in 3.23. And then this whole selecting here, you've got this where it, hold, where it all it lights up. Um, and then you've got the thing like that, where you've got to go between the choices in 3.22. Whereas in 3.23, it's just a one quick key that you can press and you can set your favorite function to that by um, clicking it, holding the F button and then selecting with your middle mouse button to choose a different function if you want a different favorite to be the, the button that you press. So here we've got the two for the 3.22 and it's just a bit janky doing that. I used to hate it. I used to always pick up helmets when instead of guns when I was in the middle of fights. Whereas with this you can actually set, as you see there, the favorite is set to carry but you can go down to store instead with your mouse, just scrolling it, just scroll it down and round as you see there. And then you click your middle mouse button and you can set. So like if I click my middle mouse button on store here, I can um, then between the two, set it as primary or set it as secondary. So if I set that to primary now, when I go to that box now, it'll be store instead of pick up or carry. So that's how you set a favorite basically on that. So let's go out the door and let's start having a look at the map section. So, this is 3.22. It's a basic um, Morbi glass. You all know this Morbi glass and what it looks like. And in 3.23, much, much better. Such a better system. You've got your money down here, your home, your health. Each individual section you can go to from inside this part as well. Instead of going down the bottom, you can click the little um, arrow that's pointing to the, to the right, upper right. And then you can go through each one of these. Each one looks so much better. That's still the same as the old one, but the contracts are so much better. And then you've got like verified at the top, in, so which is your personal ones. You've got the verified and unverified there, and that's personal and normal ones. So the illegal ones are the unverified. And then you're verified and you're normal. Then you've got your accepted, your history, and your beacons, and setting a beacon here. Easy to do. Select what it is you want to do, whether the uh, destination you go to, if you've got a destination you've got to go to, uh, any rep level and then the amount, and then you've also got to pay a cost there. So I would pay 320000 for that cost on top of the fee that I've done. And then we'll go to the journal. The journal's quite good. At least now you can see um, much clearer things that you've not read with the dots on them and which one you've selected. And this pretty much is the same. It's just got a, a couple of extra things. Loving this new Delphi or Rep thing. And there's your landing and your vehicles. And the vehicles one is just a, it's just the same. So yeah, really liking this new Moby Glass. Really do like that. And then there's your name and your money down there. Really do like that. Right, so let's go to the map. So when you go into the map, we've got a server at the moment, so we're just going to let that, that go through. So this is another part of it, is these server errors. So basically what it's doing in now is almost like a 30k, but it's going to recover it and put it onto a new server for us, um, replication layer. And then basically it will just be like, oh, we're like we've been moved over to a new server and everything will carry on as it was. And they generally don't take that long. I'm going to leave this one so you guys can actually see it, how long it takes. And if you're not really bothered about that, then you can always fast forward. I will have um, chapters in this, so you can jump to the chapters. If you go down to the bottom of the screen, you should be able to just jump to the chapters and look at the ones you want to look at. But I think it's important for those people that don't know what's going on with the replication layer or what it's going to look like and, and stuff like that. You can get a, a sense here what it's going to what it's going to be like. Instead of 30k coming up on your screen, you get this instead now. And you just got to wait. Sometimes I'll just go and jump on the internet or something and have a quick look at the internet and then check back. <laughs> and there we go, we're back in. 
So it wasn't too long. Um, he, he caught me out here because I was on the internet looking at something. <laughs> so I'll be back on in a second. There we are. Back on. All right, so back on the maps. When you come to the maps now, it will drop you in either in your ship or where you are in the, in the local area, like the corridors and stuff like that. And now we can uh, move our mouse around here. And as you see, you've got instructions on the side. I've kept the instructions on the side so people can see them. And now you've got things where you can set a route and you can set a pin. Currently, when you set a route, it'll show it on your map, but it won't show it on the floor. The, the plan is that you're going to have arrows on the floor that you can follow, but you can actually see it in your mini map up at the top corner, and you um, can just follow that then as well. You've got all different options here, like going to different rooms and different sections. Like you could go and look at the commons from here, or you could go and look at the space station from here um, and the interior and put pins down there and routes. So if I click that route and set a route there, you'll see there's on my map now that it's got the chevrons and, and I'll drop a pin here as well. And you can name the pin. So if I put lifts or something, I'm not too sure if friends can see these at the moment. I'm not too sure it's something I'm going to have to check, but uh, it'd be a good way of pinning something so you know where something is. And then if you scroll out, you've got the up the main map, um, the main um, star map. And when you click on different um, areas, you'll have it'll tell you what's there, a bit about it as well, and you um, can then set a route from there. You can always search in the top as well. So if I put SM0, you've got the SM0 things here where you can then also set your routes to. So that's a quick overview of that. Like I say, if you then click on these, it'll, they'll show more information as you go over them. So that is that. And you can see there in my top of my map now, I have a arrow that I can follow and you can see the pin as well. And when you get to the end of your route one, that will disappear, but the pin won't itself. Also, when you take your helmet off, that square minimap at the top will turn circular. So this is 3.22 looking out the window, what it looks like, and 3.2. It just looks really, really nice with this new Vulcan engine. Really, really liking that. Let's call it a lift. So 3.22, my old character. They did bring the her into this, so you could have the wavy her and stuff, but I put it up in a ponytail. And then there's 322. You can just already see the difference in the graphics. It just and we're only on temp graphics here as well, so and there we go. And we've got these cargo machines in there now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up a new job. I'm gonna pick up a uh, a box mission and you'll see the difference with the markers as well that's going to happen with the markers and like i said i'll just flip between the two and you'll you'll see it up in the top corner as i'm doing that alexa talking there so I'm going to pick up this one, and this one is this. And so this one is it a um, cargo center, and this is one of the new ones that will be coming in, where you can move um, boxes around the cargo center internally. You don't have to leave the cargo center; you just drop the boxes off in the same places or the same building, should I say? But these cargo centers are massive. So old to, um, new to old, there you go. And you see at the top now, we've got our delivery package up the top. It's just in the middle of the screen, taking over so much screen space. And you can't visually see the box that we've got to pick up um, just off the bat there. There's like a little square box that you'll see, there it is. And it's just not that easy to see. Whereas if we go to 3.23, um, they've now made them yellow. And it's just so much easier to see as you can see there. And then you've got the, that comes up and then disappears. But in the top right is where you can track your package. And then just below that is where unimportant information comes up. So back to 3.22. And now we're in the ship and we're going to look at some of the visuals in the ship. 
So I've got also my tool tips on, but I'm going to take them off. But you'll also see when I change what that looks like. And so I'm just looking around this. This has changed now with the new master modes, which I'll explain in a second. You have your weapons on and uh, your decoys. And then you also want you have your shield on in 3.23. And then these run across the top. And the changes are massive here. So as you can see now, those um, signatures have moved over to the left above your um, throttle. You've now got the SC mode here, SCM mode, which you can change to nav mode here. And we'll explain that in a minute. And then you've got your guns, which will move when you uh, change to nav mode. And you will lose, also lose your shield in nav mode as well. And so we'll go forward. And while you're going forward in with your landing gear down in 3.23, it will set your limit to 30, 30 kilometers or whatever it is. And so you won't be able to go fast. So if we're in here in 3.22 and I go forward, you'll see I can go at a good speed here. I can pick up my speed as well, even when we're landing gear down. And I've put cruise control on, which we don't have uh, anymore in 3.23. We have something different, which I'll show you as well. So here we are in 3.23. I've got my landing gear down. I'm pushing forward. And you can see here, when I push forward, you will see that I just don't go above 30 with my landing gear down. And it, 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 well, it was annoying uh, to begin with. It's actually really good because when I'm coming in to a, a place really fast, I can just hit my landing gear and then that will just slow me down instantly. Not instantly, but it'll bring my speed down so I don't have to worry about it. And as you can see now, I can start moving forward faster. But what you'll also notice is with my SCM guns mode, I can only go to about 230-ish on my speed unless I boost like I'm doing now. In nav mode, you can go to about 1,000 on your speed. And you see that's dropping down now to about 200 and something. Also, what's new in this as well is if I highlight this guy here, and when you're in SEM gun mode, you can press your left trigger or right mouse button, whatever your zoom is, and you can zoom into the ships and um, look at the ships proper when you're near them. So you can actually float around them and have a proper look. And that's for, for sub-targeting, so you can target certain areas. So, back into 3.23 here. And what I'm going to show you now here is this nav mode section. So now we have the master modes and you switch between a fighting mode and a non-fighting mode. And so what I've done there is I've just pressed um, Alt and C and I've changed my throttle into a, what they call a slide throttle. It's almost like, a, I don't know what they call it, um, uh, basics where you're sliding it up and then you can leave it like a fader on a mixing desk. You can slide it up and leave it. Whereas in 3.22, you can set your cruise control just as you are here and then leave it whereas in 3.23 you've got like a slider by pressing alt and c you can switch between the slider and the normal mode where it won't where it won't stick keep going forward and wherever you set that you basically it will stay that way and you know the difference because you've got a square on when it's off and then a circle when it's on so here we are looking at the different uh, icons and you can see how they've changed here I got to know the icons in the old one and now the new ones. These sort of chevrons looking in each other are space stations. The circles are the planets. You can't differentiate between the planet and the moons the way you can in the, the older one in 3.23. You used to have a circle with a small circle for a moon. And then if we go down to the planet here and we've got these like triangles now which are the outposts that we can go to. And then I think there's like a hexagon is the main city whereas the main city used to be an upside down looking house type thing it's now a hexagon there is no difference you can't tell whether something's on the other side of the planet or not like in 3.22 you could tell because it was hetched the hexagon was hetched whereas now you can't tell if something's on the other side of the planet so there you go there's the main city with a hexagon there and that sorts of another visual change and then you can see that revving up there for your quantum so you have to be in nav mode for quantum, and to do that, you have to keep all the B to switch between the two. I'm going through this quite fast for you guys. Uh, hopefully, you can just either half speed it or go back if you want to. If you want to go more, I didn't want a massive long video. So now we're going on to some of the changes, just visual changes. As you can see, the difference in between the two, like coming into a base here, uh, as opposed to coming into a, a base in three point. Two, eight, three, one of the big distribution centers.
And now that I've played 3.23, uh, 3 it just feels like I'm missing out when I'm playing 3.22. It feels like there's just not enough there now. As you can see, Quincy, this distribution sensor, there's just so much to it. So much going on visually as well. And you can't, uh, you, you can press um, to go into scan mode, um, but if you want to get rid of the markers off your screen, or you can go into SAM gun mode to get those the markers off your screen, but that means you're turning off your nav uh, or your QT engine. So again, it's just now we're going through the motions of just showing you some different graphics as we're coming into places. You've sort of seen the majority of the changes now. So we're just going through these and just showing off some other things. And I will also show the guns as well. What I haven't done is, what I'll do at the end is I will also tack in um, going through a loot crate and going through and going through um, a EVA as well, so you can see them. So we are going to another distribution center, but in the daytime this time. And just seeing the difference between the two at daytime, going to do two different places, like the little centers here, which are sort of the biggest places you can go to in 3.22 compared to this in 3.23. The screen's flashing at the moment because this was an old, an older uh, patch. They've now patched that where the screen's flashing like that. That's now been fixed. It just looks so good. I didn't see that there. It just popped in and landed on it. It's just the difference. It's just the difference is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is just looks barren now. It's like there's nothing there compared to landing at one of the distribution centers. Visually, it just looks so much better. And we're just going to drop this package off now. And then what I'll do is I'll show you the having a gun and I'll show you the EVA as well. So we are in the distribution center picking up a package. There's some guy over there on the floor. <laughs> I did try helping him, but I ended up injecting myself instead of him. So I was in one of these distribution centers earlier and I was going through these like crate, there's like a grate on the side, a grid thing that you can open and go sneaking through the vents and stuff. I was doing that earlier on. Really, really good it was. So that is pretty much a lot of the changes. Like I said, I'm gonna show you the guns in a second. And then from there, I will also show you the EVA. People just floating around looking at what's going on in these things. They're, I mean, they're absolutely huge, these things. I ain't even explored nowhere near it. Like, I've been in the lobbies and a couple of places in there, but absolutely humongous, the places. And again, just the one-touch button to drop that and then place it there rather than just dropping it on the floor. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull out my gun. This is 3.22 with my gun. There we are. No reticle on the screen or crosshair on the screen or anything like that. Whereas if you've got a combat helmet on in 3.23, you'll get it like this. You'll have a reticle on your screen like that. You can see now. And then when you go close to something, that will also adjust so that you know that you're too close to something you can't and you'll end up hitting that. And so if we go onto here and press J, you can then 
sort of edit that. Visually, this this new patch is amazing. Once they've cleaned up everything, it's gonna it's just gonna be cool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you by going near a post, and you'll see then when I look out of the post that the cursor or the crosshair on the screen will just disappear. Oh, not disappear. It'll it'll go long like it'll be close to me. Like it it sort of reacts to you uh, being in cover. I did, I did try jumping on my ship here, but <laughs> I fell miserably. But you can see where the crosser there, when I'm close to that wall across what the crosser does. I give up in a second. Also disappears when you zoom in. You see how it's moved, floating around on the screen. But as I say, as I pull out, and get away from that. Actually, as I get close to it, to the to the wall, you'll see how it pulls in on my gun. And then when I step out, it pushes out. Dynamic crosser, basically. So you can see where you're where you're aiming. So you know then if you're hitting a wall, like that compared to that. And so that's that. So what I'm going to also now do is show you EVA and the changes on that. And then um, we'll call this one. So here we go. EVA. As you see now, you've got that Iron Man pause as you go out. And you can spin around, go backwards, and you'll just keep floating. So I'm loving this. Not, not doing a um, straightforward um, vertical pause. So much better now. It's going to be good for going through small spaces and that. Or if your ship is been uh, soft deft. So when you should get soft deft, you lose all your gravity in it. So and you start bumping into stuff and getting spun around and that because of you you're going through it vertically. Whereas now we'll be going through it horizontally. It's going to be so much easier to do. And so that's that. So next I'm going to show you the new loot system and we'll go through that one. So this is the new loot system. I can show you on this. For, for some reason it wasn't working on boxes when I was doing this, so I had to do it from here, but it is now working on boxes. But you've got your external, which is what, what you're going into, the box you're going into, and you've got a take all button. And then the blue down here is your stuff, so like your backpack and your armor and legs and stuff like that and you can put stuff into it from there or you can just come off it and switch it and and just throw it on the floor uh, if you want to throw it on the floor instead so much easier system to use your armor you can just drop it in drag it over or whatever i, I prefer this system than the old one and so that in a nutshell is basically the new loot system the new the new loot looking thing so that's that guys, I'm going to um, end this video now and so we hope you like this video, hopefully you got some information out of it. It is constantly changing, I've noticed some changes from when I first started the EPTU to non not having the EPTU. Uh, I've noticed changes from the EPTU and each each time they've added some more to it or, or they've put, brought out a patch, there's the visual changes, some things have been changed and and that so yeah so it's definitely a work in progress that that's going on and there might be things might look a bit different when it does get released finally but that's just some of the changes and what's going on and how it's looking at the moment i'm really really happy with how it's looking so let us know guys in the comments what you think anything i've missed that you you think i should have put in there for other people to look at and um yeah so yeah guys take care we'll see you out in the verse